morning navin so last session we discussed q concept simple q concept how to insert an element in a queue and also how to delete an element in a queue while inserting and deleting an element what are all the conditions has to be checked so these conditions play a vital role in implementing queue concept okay if you thorough in these condition checking then it will be very easy for you to understand and implement the concept of queue in any programming language okay now today we are going to learn another version of queue concept that is circular queue now you may have a question in your mind why we have to use circular queue instead of ordinary queue what is the speciality in circular queue yes so these questions definitely may comes into your mind the answer for this question is in simple queue we can't insert an element if you reaches the maximum capacity of a queue yes of course if the queue size is 5 and all the five customers stand in a queue the sixth customer can't stand in a queue yes or no yes this is what a concept of simple queue but in real life when a person get served in a queue he'll automatically deleted and the and those place will be empty so that the next person will move on to the deleted place and so on up to the end the queue will be moved yes or no in real life the queue will be moved oftenly when the front person or when the first person getting it getting a service he'll automatically delete it from a queue and once he is deleted from his place all the members behind him will move forward so that at the end the empty place will be created automatically but this is not place uh, but this is if you did the same by moving all the elements to the front it, this will consume lots of time this will consume lots of time while making a coding for the same so that the researchers did a different way to do the same efficiently yes so how they are doing is with the help of circular queue now what i am going to do is if the rear end reaches the end of a queue i am going to restart the insertion once again from the position 0 that is i am going to make use of the all empty places at the front of the queue okay this is what the concept of circular queue in terms of computer why i am going for circular queues for better memory management okay is in simple queue i am actually wasting the memory space all the deleted spaces in the front of the queue will not be occupied it simply say it, you reached the end so you can't insert an element whereas in circular queue i am going to reset the rear pointer to all the front of a queue that is rear again once again i am going to start insertion from the rear is equal to 0 where there is no element present in the queue or all the deleted elements in place of deleted elements i am going to do this operation okay so this is actually the concept navin and all others are exactly same as the queue queue concept so yesterday i discussed you the algorithm and the pictorial representation and also we discussed the we executed the program in blue j ide yes the same concept minute changes are there in the algorithm because we have to once you reach the end you have to reset the position see here r is equal to size when the rear end reaches the size you have to reset the value of rear pointer to 0 so this is one change and also overflow overflow as it is a circular queue how will you check whether the queue is full the checking of condition is different you have to check the value of front pointer and also rear pointer that is if the front pointer is equal to 0 
and the rear pointer is equal to size almost the cube is full similarly if the front pointer is equal to r plus 1 that is our uh, front and rear pointer at the two consequent places here rear first and front next so in that situation also the cube is overflowing that is the cube is full okay and similarly for deletion you have to check once the front pointer once the front end reaches the rear end you have to make the cube as empty and you should also when it reaches the size you have to uh, change the front pointer is equal to 0 okay these two condition checking is different as compared to q please note down these changes and try to do the homework which i have posted in group today once you did the homework you will be very strong in circular cube okay first look at the diagrams shown in your book the illustration shown in your book okay understand the concepts with the conditions and the algorithm then you please do the homework thank you